This week we've got another Hero Clicks conversion for you, but unlike in past weeks, this will not be for Dungeons and Dragons. We're gonna make a Orc Knob. We're starting with the Hero Click known as the General. He's an old school, uh, unique Hero Click. He's very orky to begin with. Of course, I knock him off the base using a chisel and vice, and then I drop him into some acetone to get that nasty factory paint job stripped off there as quickly as possible. Of course, I also hit him with a brush. So we're gonna hit him with that toothbrush and get that paint off him. He sees a nice gray plastic underneath. And then I'm gonna whittle away his head, leaving just a little bit of a neck stump so we have uh, somewhere to mount our orc head. I'm also gonna take a safety knife and I'm gonna take a bit of his larger gun away, making room to mount our uh, chain axe, our orc, our orc uh, big chopper weapon. The glue, of course, I'm gonna use is E6000. I'm just applying that with a toothpick to the next stump and then putting the orc head on there. And I believe this is actually a fantasy orc head. Um, I have just a bunch of orc bits and I just need to use them up. I don't have enough orc torsos and bodies. So this is just a fun way to make a unique orc knob character and this guy actually stands a little taller than a war boss when it's all said and done but he's got a very appropriate physique he doesn't quite have the pot belly that we associate with orcs but i think it just makes him look a little bit cooler and it's okay if uh there is one genuinely sort of fit buff orc uh, amongst my large assortment of uh, orc boys and knobs i think that's all right now, a little more E6000, I'm going to put him on uh, a larger base. This is a 32 millimeter, not a 25. I think that's what orc knobs are mostly based on these days. In fact, I think orc boys are supposed to be based on these as well, although mine aren't because they're really old and I'm not going to rebase my entire army, uh, especially since I almost never play. Now, I'm putting a little PVA glue on this plastic here. This is gluing plastic to sand, so hopefully you guys can forgive me for using PVA and not uh, more E6000. Gonna take him outside once that's dried, hit him with a little gray primer. Not doing a zenithal or anything fancy, just gonna uh, paint up layers here. Base coat with greens. I'm doing the pants in the style of uh, US Marines, so they are just gonna be blue with a red stripe on the side here. Um, the character, the general, was uh, a marine general anyway from DC Comics. He uh, took on the powers of Shaggy Man to fight the Justice League. In fact, he was even in the uh, the animated cartoon for an episode. I added some orc bits and stuff to give this figure a little more detail. So he's got that spiked shoulder pad going. And he's got some pockets on the side of his pants that are uh, in 40k edition. Overall, I think he turned out really cool. I like the way he looks. And uh, it's just for fun. Obviously, I wouldn't bring him to a tournament or anything, as he is pretty much not a 40k mini, except for a couple of additions. But uh, I think the overall looks very nice. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. I'll have another one for you shortly. Thanks. You know, and if you liked that video, please hit the like, subscribe. And uh, you can always send me a little money through my GoFundMe. I could certainly use it. All right, thank you, everybody. Uh, I also have a Discord. All the links for that stuff is in the description below. Have a good day.